There we go. You can target him now. And of course, you put your head right next to your baby. Great. What? An intelligent parent using its baby as a shield. There we go. That's a dead mole rat. And. Ooh, come back here, child. That is us. A baby mole rat. Alrighty guys and gals, Gunshy Mori here with another video where today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Aberration here on the Small Survivors server. And today what I'm going to be doing is going out and finishing taming up the essential creatures that I need here for gathering resources such as a mole rat and a dodecarus. Now the mole rat's going to be a little bit more tricky because I need to look up the taming guide for that. And if it's a bit more difficult than I think it's going to be. Um, we're probably just going to go and try and claim a mole rat baby because that's probably going to be the easiest way early on. But now quickly before we go and do that, I do want to go over some stuff here. You may notice I have upgraded my armor and my equipment here. So I do also have a shield and uh, yeah, I know that's just some stuff I decided to do here just to get it out of the way. It's just crafting armor and a shield. I had all the resources for it. But as well, I did craft up some defenses here out front, just so I have a safe place to store my dinos. And along with that, I did manage to tame a level 70 Iguanodon. And I already have had a scare with him where he has gotten into a fight with a Ravager and barely made it out. Um, but he has helped me get a lot, and I mean a lot, of narcotics, as you may have noticed. We got 114 on us and 340 in here. And honestly, if I just go and uh, keep on doing what I've been doing with every last bit of raw meat I get, we'll have more. So now to begin here, we're going to go find us a Dodecarus. I did already search up one. There is a level 15 over here. But that's where that Ravager and its pack are that gave me the scare with the Guanadon. So we're not going to head over there. Now, if anything here... I'd say let's go for these two up here, the level 45 that appear to be on top of the... No, they're below. So it looks like they're down over where Doc's house used to be. And as well about that, um, I do got some bad news. It does appear that everyone else has decided to move on to a different server. Um, I don't know if it's just because I took too long to get this one up, but for now it seems like I'm the only one that's going to be playing on this server for a while. Okay, so we're almost over to where the dodec is. Does look like we do have a bit of problem though. That's a carno. I did not realize there was a carno. Is that an alpha carno? Because that looks like a bigger carno than normal. Um, definitely should not be this close. Just really hoping the Karno would accidentally hit the Termid. I, oh, they're hitting me. Oh, those, it's those. That's not good. And there's a lot of them. Okay, so what I got to do here is find me a different dodec that is in a safer location. Because this is, this is going to be ridiculous. Unless I can. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. I'm going to pass out. I should get me someplace safe real quick. Okay, so there is a level 45 aberrant doe deck over here. Now, I do believe, is this under I need to go or up? I can't remember how to get over there. Is that in portal? Ooh, so glad I stopped in at this one. Look at that. That's a better crossbow. Boop. Just going to drop that on the ground. I don't care about it. Uh, we'll take the fur and the gunpowder as well. But I have found where the dodec is. Now, this is the little area over here on the other side that is over by the portal. And as well, it does appear that there is a charge station, at least somewhat nearby. So that way I can get 
this thing uploaded to the network and get it back up to my base pretty easy. Now, let me get my narcotics re-equipped. Um, this does seem like it's relatively safe, but that's always what you think until you step on a basilisk. Is it safe? And then you step on a basilisk. Um, no, it's relatively safe. Like, look at that. That right there is just our hit squad that's been cleaning out the place. Two stegos. But now, we're gonna get started here on this, uh, doe deck. And as I notice that, there's a pack of raptors in the background. It's going after a giga raptor, though. They don't stand a chance, I think. Please don't hit me. I'm backing up so that way you don't. I don't want to back up towards them. Damn. I gotta go in circles here till he passes out. Okay, I'm probably gonna pause the video here and then get back to you guys once he passes out. So I got him to start fleeing here. I'm gonna put a couple more in him. He is sadly though running towards where I last saw those raptors. Now we're gonna be careful here because as well he's going right in front of a stego. I do not want to hit the stegos because that is, yeah, that's gonna be a pain. There we go. That was the last arrow I needed. Okay. Also, you have inherit weight mut mutatable. That's your uh, trait. There's the pack up there. Dang. You can see them all. I just swear I saw a raptor pounce as well. I could have sworn they're not allowed to do that anymore. What? Uh, I don't. Why am I heading that way? Let's not. So now that we got the doe deck knocked out, what I'm going to do here is we're going to leave him to starve up a bit. And what else we're going to do is search up for a mole rat. Or if I... What are they called? Roll rat. Yep, that's what they're called. Also, I'm honest. I'm in a stego. I am become one with the stego. I need mole rats with children. Yes, and this one appears to be mutated. That one's definitely a maybe. This one, though, on the other hand, looks like it's, it's a level 60. Do I want to deal with that? I could also just go tame one, but I feel like it'd be easier to just go, you know, again, take Can you, like, quit kidnapping me? Okay, this scorpion's stinging me. I am shooting it with my own, uh, tranks. Hopefully it falls asleep. It's a 120. I highly doubt it. I'm probably gonna pass out here and die. It has stung me way too much. Um, only thing I can think of here is let's quickly get up on this ledge. But he's gonna go after my dodec. Yep, I gotta get up. I'm getting way too... Too much, Torpor. I'm losing it. Okay, we're good. So, now, let's... I do want to try and tame him, because I have dumped some narcotics into this boy. And he's a 120. Ooh, ooh, it's starting to work. There we go. Now I guess we're also taming a scorpion, which I did not plan to do either, just like the Ravenger yesterday. Okay, so I do got a plan here for how to tame the roll rat. So, what we're gonna need is a giant bee. Wait, no bees? I am, uh, I'm in, I have no clue what's going on. There's no bees at all on the map. None. So, there might be a problem in the plan of taming, uh, roll rat. I can't find any giant bees. Not even with this. Like, nothing. There's no giant bees. What the heck? That does not make sense at all. Um. Huh. I don't know what to do here then. I guess the only other way that we could tame a roll rat is by going and taking out 
one in taking the baby. There's like no giant bees at all. I have no clue what to do. Okay, so I do got a mole rat selected here that I'm going to have to go steal the young from. But before we do that, ooh, I almost did it again. I almost left without the magic berries. We're going to run over here to the scorpion and to the doe deck. We're going to go give them food so that way they can start uh, eating. Okay, so I just got back here and there's a raptor. We're going to deal with this real quick. Hey, buddy. There we go. Raptor dealt with. Any other raptors around? Yes, I hear them. Oh, there's a couple. Okay, they dealt with that one. Let's go deal with this one here that's trying to eat the doe deck. Okay. That's just the last one there. But I'm pretty sure those guys got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leave you guys to do that. But we're going to go over here. Did you starve up any? <sighs> yeah, you did. Let's give you the Mejos. It is going to be like 1% at a time, though, because it is berries. The best thing here that to actually give herbivores would be uh, either kibble or uh, vegetables. Berries are the worst. But for the scorpion here, I do kind of have something that's extremely good for him. There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh no, my server, it's restarting. It's gonna restart in 60 seconds. What do I do? I just noticed it. Uh, 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 all right, plan, plan B. Uh, we're gonna just quickly exit the server, wait five minutes and then log back. I don't know if that's a good idea because it does a dino wipe. Oh no, what do I do? I didn't expect this to happen while I was recording. I will, you know what, this is what I'll do. I'll just uh, leave the server and let it restart. Okay, okay, okay. We got the server restarted. We're logging back in. Where did it leave me? Okay, where we were just literally left off right before we logged out. We were just staring at these guys and it doesn't seem to have done a dino wipe like I thought it does. Might have to look in to how the dino wipes on Nitrado actually work. And I, every time I turn around, there is now another raptor. There we go. Get rid of him. Um, do I? No. I can't even. I don't even think I can deal damage to you right now. Can't. Okay. So, we're going to go back on to getting that roll rat. Oh, oh, as well, before I completely forget about it, my Cosmo. Okay, so, just going to give you guys a quick heads up. I did a manual dino wipe here on the server, just so that way I can actually see if there's, like, a problem and, like, other creatures are preventing bees from spawning in. Um, I doubt it, because it's already been a hot minute. As you can see, we're already repopulating the server fast, but nothing. I don't know what to do here. Because roll rats are supposed to be passive tames where you feed them honey. But how do I get honey when there's no bees? Like, that's a serious question. I mean, I could definitely, again, go and, like, take a baby. But it appears I'd have to go over into the blue zone to do that. Um, and I'm kind of just waiting for one to spawn up in the green zone now. So while we wait for that to respawn, I'm just going to let these guys finish taming up here. The scorpion is almost done. He does need some narcotics, though. Gonna just hit him with a quick three. That should keep him out for a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll get back to you guys once I find me a roll rat. So even consulting the dino book, I, I don't know what to do here. They are a passive tame. Um, you literally throw honey on the ground for them to eat. I don't know what to do i mean i do know what to do to get around this and that is to go and claim a baby it's just that that is appearing to be more difficult than i thought it would be because the only one that has spawned in with a child is over here 
in which I probably just need to be patient here and finish up the taming of these guys. I keep on like waiting a couple minutes, checking, then getting back to you guys and complaining. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna wait for the dodec to be done taming and then I'll get back with you guys on how that's going. And as well, I'm pretty sure my taming speed is set to one right now and I don't like it. Yeah, my taming speed multiplier is set to one right now on the server. Another little problem I ran into for today. Um, I'll get that fixed here though once we're all done. I'll get these two tamed up here on the one times. It's just that the Dodicarus is taking forever on it. But yeah, we're going to get these guys finished up. Okay, so we are almost done here with the Dodecarus. Um, <clears throat> we do got one little thing that keeps on upsetting me though. Every single baby that keeps spawning in, keeps spawning in in the blue zone. And now I don't want to do this again because again it's this isn't like single player i can't just throw a, a command here or there this is supposed to be single play like this is supposed to be a server other people are playing on it i can't you know disrupt other people's recordings when i'm using commands because i'm frustrated with the game but the only reason i'm doing this a second time uh is the fact i am the only one on the server <laughs> so i'm going to do another dino wipe and hopefully we get some babies that spawn up in the green zone because we maxed out. We we hit our 40,000 like dinos and then it like stopped. It really didn't go up any higher. So, yeah. But now we do got the dodec tamed up. We are going to have it and my little scorpion here. You are probably like the best thing out of today. A 120 scorpion and have them follow me up over here to the charge station. And now you can use these somewhat like the obelisks and you can upload things to them such as characters, items, and creatures. And that's actually how I'm planning on moving these guys around the map here until I get cryopods. Now I was thinking about using that one soul ball mod or that one I was, uh, was it? if you guys watched Rask Clock's video, one of his videos earlier this week, he added one in on their server thought about adding that but i figured that i'm probably not gonna do that because again i like the cryopods more i know i know it's they have a lot of problems but i you, you can kind of fix them with mods <laughs> so now i'm just waiting for these guys to get around the rock here and then once they're up here all you have to do open this up hit creatures and as you can see they're gonna be right there and you can just upload them to the I didn't just duplicate the dodec, did I? That confused me. There you go. It's just, yeah. It's popping up and showing that there's another one there when there's not. It's just not updating that they've been uploaded. But now that we got those guys uploaded, we are going to run back to the base. Just because that's going to give the roll rats some time here to spawn in. And as you can see, for some reason, like it's favoriting like spawning them down here. Now, if I could just get some bees, that would be perfect, but I can't. Literally, I can't. And that's so irritating. And that's literally the last creature I need here for a utility tame. Now, if I uh, hold up, cast. Yep, no, no beavers. No beavers on this map. So we're back to base here. There's a Giga Raptor that spawned in as well next to my base, which is just awesome. But we're going to run up here, get our creatures out of the terminal. Whistle for them to fall. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. Get out of me. Ugh, there we go. I'm sorry for having to punch you. I needed to get you a little bit of a bump to get you moving. But we're going to get these guys back into the base. Then we're going to go give the roll rats some more time to spawn in. Then hopefully we get a decent level baby that spawns. I'm basically just going to take any baby that spawns in the green zone now that I can get to a charge station. That's literally what we're going to be doing. But we're back at the base. I just had the worst time trying to get these guys in the actual base. So what we're going to be doing here is actually making a dodec saddle so I can get it in the base. I managed to get the scorpion by literally ripping up these two spike walls and punching it in into the base. But the love of God did not fall off the cliff. 
I'm gonna punch you back over that way. <laughs> yeah. That thing has been annoying. Now, I completely forgot the saddle. Get it saddled up. You know what? May as well out and, may as well go out and get some rocks as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get my dough deck put away real quick. Now we're gonna go check and see if any more roll rats have spawned in. We got a good ten thousand creatures on the map. Thirty-two roll rats. Mm, dang it! It was at one point, but I it grew up. It was probably an adolescent one. Okay. Um, I could go get that level 5 or this level 20. This one is what we're going to go for. Hopefully, it stays alive until we get there. Okay, so we are over here by the roll rat. Got a juvenile level 20. All we need... Oh, I'm stuck in a bad spot. Do not get eaten. I think I got stung. But what we need to do is get rid of this... Roll rat without the baby getting eaten. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of some raptors. That's a lot of raptors. Okay, so I do think I got a way here to get rid of the mole rat, and I think I did already kind of hit it. What we need to do is get up on this rock and shoot down upon it with arrows. Now, there is that raptor already eating it, in which we're going to kind of use the raptor to help us a bit. So, it's killed that. Morat's going to come after me now. Please. As soon as he gets off that moss shop, I need to run. And get up here. Okay, so now there's the mama, or daddy, I guess, it's a male, right down there. Need to just keep on following. Where are you going? Oh, why am I doing this? What I should do is this. He's gonna run back. There we go. You can target him now. And of course, you put your head right next to your baby. Great. What? An intelligent parent using its baby as a shield. There we go. That's a dead mole rat. And. Ooh, come back here, child. That is us. A baby mole rat. Now, I know I'm a little disheartened that I couldn't do it the other. Like, the official way of actually taming one with the honey. Um, but sadly, there's something going on on my server. Where bees can't spawn, or aberration, where bees are just not allowed. I might have to look into that. But, yeah. Now, I gotta find a charge station. Um, That is probably easier said than done right now. Because I, I, this is a child. This thing cannot defend itself. I uh, think what I'm gonna do here is... Keep going this way. It should be able to follow me, right? I have it tracked. Oh my god. Ark's new AI pathing is just perfect. <laughs> With two thumbs down. So, I cannot find any nearby charge stations. So, what that means is that we're going to have to kind of wait for this guy to grow up. Before we can uh, move about. Now I do believe if I head that way. There should be a charge station. But I do also believe I head this way. And it's going to be getting dangerous. Now I am going to check here. Before I decide to like actually build a structure around him. To protect him. Uh, we're going to just walk out this way. Kind of see if there's a charge station anywhere. Yeah there's definitely not one that's close enough. That I would be willing to take that mole rat through um so what we're gonna be doing is just running back hi hi uh two scorpions okay that's fun quick get away so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kind of build a protective structure just a simple one out of wood around the mole rat or roll rat 
to protect it until it's fully grown. But for you guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to get going into this. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. And do remember to ring that notification bell and share the video. That does help out the channel a lot. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing out. Peace.